Hello Kumar Sen and till now in case of heat exchanger I have shared with you a lot of questions, lot of theoretical questions and now this is the question which has been asked in gate previous year in numerical later type. So whenever you are getting question uh, at least in case of heat exchanger what you need to do you need to just draw the diagram of that heat uh, what type of heat exchanger is this so this is a case of counter flow so draw a diagram of counter flow heat exchanger alright so first of all what you have to do you have to draw a diagram of counter flow heat exchanger so this is th1 this is th2 this is tc2 this is tc1 because of counter flow heat exchanger right now we'll write what they have given in this heat exchanger and we will find out what they wanted to get right from this question so they said that counter flow heat exchanger heat transfer between water streams great so both the streams are water we got from this question till now so tube side water add this is heated from 10 degree centigrade to 38 uh, degree centigrade so it said that it is heating from 10 degree centigrade to 38 degree centigrade right and it's it's flow rate is 19 liter per second now shell type uh, heats uh, cell side heat uh, I'm sorry cell side water at uh, its flow rate is 25 liter per second and then it's entering temperature entering temperature is 46 degree right centigrade so they are they said to us that density is 1000 kg per meter cube and cp is 4.186 kilojoule per kg kelvin all right so what we have to find out basically what is lmtd lmtd is equal to what we have to find out so here is that lmtd we know that the formula for lmtd is theta 1 minus theta 2 by natural log theta 1 by theta 2 we know this now what is theta 1 difference between these two so what is that theta 1 is equal to 8 degree centigrade but can you find theta 2 theta 2 from here no because we don't know the value of th2 so first of all what we have to do we have to find out what is th2 then only we can able to find out what theta 2 are you getting my point so for that we are having a good relationship what's that let me share with you what is that about the relationship that is effectiveness of heat exchanger which is denoted by epsilon effectiveness of heat exchanger is equal to ch th1 minus th2 c minimum th1 minus tc1 is equal to cc tc2 minus tc1 i will share with you why i am writing this c minimum th1 minus tc1 okay so let me share with you what is ch what is cc what is c minimum what is c this is a, this c means heat capacity that is mass flow rate multiple cp so if i am talking about hot fluid i am talking about hot fluid then mass flow rate of and cp of the hot fluid so hot fluid the fluid is what water so cp for both the cases would be what 4.186 kilojoule per kg kelvin for this case also and for this case also okay so this is the thing now look at this equation from this equation let's take this one and this one so the denominator and denominator will get cancelled it will not become zero it will become one okay so what we get basically ch th1 minus th2 cc tc2 minus tc1 all right so we don't know what is ch basically we have to find out so what is ch basically 15 multiple this so uh, sorry 25 multiple this not that is 15 25 multiple 4.186 th1 is 46 th2 is uh we have to find out and what is cc 19 multiple 4.186 tc2 is 38 and tc1 is 10 so this one this one get cancelled right you can easily see this this one this one get cancelled now we can say that 46 minus th2 is equal to 19 multiple this will become 28 19 multiple 28 
division 25 then we can also we have to calculate this for this i have to use calculator 19 multiple 28 dividend 25 is equal to this so this is becoming what 21.28 now send this th to that side and this one to this side so we can say that 46 minus answer is this so th2 is what from here we can find out we find out actually for 24.72 degree centigrade right 24.72 degree centigrade so what is the value of th2 24.72 that means theta 2 is equal to this one minus this one so 14.72 now put the values of theta 1 and theta 2 get the answer simple so what is theta 1 basically 8 minus sorry 8 minus 14.72 natural log theta 1 is 8 and theta 2 is 14.72 now find out this 8 minus 14.72 8 minus 14.72 division natural log 8 division 14.72 yeah so it's 11.02 degree centigrade is the lmtd for this question okay so this is the question which has been asked in gate previous year in numerical type okay so calculation you must give your focus on calculation that's why you can get most accurate answer otherwise you know the question you know everything even then you are not going to get marks of it right so what's the use of that nothing isn't it so uh, you need to focus on this also all right so thanks for watching thank you very much and hope to see you again in my next video tutorial bye bye